Well, most people at some point in their lives will need to care for a sick family member or aging parent. And according to data from the AARP, in Vermont, more than one in three adults surveyed already have. That's just one of the reasons why the organization is asking the Vermont legislature to approve a mandatory family medical and paid leave plan in the state. NBC5 Sid Boulay joins us live in the newsroom with more on what the future of paid leave could look like. Sid? Alice, while Governor Phil Scott rolled out a voluntary paid family medical leave plan last year, right now many are still campaigning for a mandatory plan in the state. But so far, the Senate doesn't have it on the calendar yet for this legislative session. AARP has more than 112,000 members in Vermont. Recently, the group surveyed its members to see what Vermonters want from the state when it comes to paid family and medical leave. No more next years. The time for this program is now. According to the survey, there are around 70,000 caregivers in Vermont who provide around 66 million hours of unpaid care each year. And the cost of caregiving adds up fast. With those hours of care valued at more than $1.2 billion each year, that breaks down the costing each caregiver more than $7,000 annually out of their own pockets. There is enormous support for this program across political lines. However, AARP says there's a big difference between the current state offering a voluntary plan and one that employers would be required to offer. A real fundamental and deep difference between having a voluntary plan, um, which would be easier for folks of greater means to enroll in, um, than it is a mandatory plan that will help the largest cross-section of Vermont workers. Vermont Governor Phil Scott telling NBC5 that he supports providing paid family and medical leave, but only without a mandatory tax on Vermonters. He believes his voluntary plan achieves the shared goals. It's certainly better than nothing. Uh, and we applaud the administration for, for, for putting this forward. Um, but there is a, um, a very big difference between what a comprehensive mandatory plan would look like and what a voluntary plan would look like. However, with the state Senate showing no plans to take action on paid family medical leave anytime soon, AARP is asking anyone who wants a mandatory plan to reach out to their senator. It's no longer okay to say that, yeah, we know that this is important, but we're just going to have to wait because we've been hearing that over and over and over again. And that response is no longer acceptable. Again, while the Senate currently does not have legislation about paid family medical leave on the calendar this session, Governor Scott says he's getting ready to roll out a new phase of his voluntary plan soon. Live in the newsroom, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.